STU. Stop tobacco use. Hey guys, we're here to talk about the use of tobacco in Maine and how it affects people. So, let's just roll some slides and like, why would you leave those on the ground? What, what if an animal ate them? Now that you've seen that, do you feel us? Like, what, what if a dog ate that? What if it was your dog? Yep. What if it was your dog? Yeah, you have a dog. What if it was your cat? What if, what if, what if you stepped on it and dragged yeah. it into your house? Yeah. And maybe you had a bunny and yeah. he got loose and started licking it Like a pet cougar. Like, I doubt it would have a pet cougar, but... I don't know, maybe you do, but um, let's just, let's just see another slide that really makes me, that doesn't uh, make yeah. me as happy as it should. Right. Wait a minute, no, it's not supposed to make you happy. Stay in school, kids. Hey guys, well, we're here in someone's office. Well, is this an office? I, I guess it's Maybe. a conference room, um, I don't know. Yes. Um, today we're here to interview Mr. Shada about, um, oh, hi, hey. on tobacco use and how it affects people. Hmm. And here's a fact you probably may or may not have known, that Mr. Shabo is a former smoker who has quit. That's correct. So. So, Mr. Shaver. Yes, sir. Uh, what motivated you to quit? Well, uh, a couple of things. Um, we were, uh, my wife and I were having a, a newborn baby, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I felt as if that would be a good time to, uh, to rid my household and myself of the toxic tobacco smoke. Um, and, and secondly, um, I'm a diabetic. So uh, my doctor had been telling me for years to, to quit because it, it messes with your circulation. And, 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 and the third thing is um, I had a broken arm, and it never healed. Um, and the thing was because it really shattered my arm. And what happened, well, it wouldn't heal, wouldn't heal. Um, when, I quit the, when I quit smoking, it healed. It healed, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I, I feel so much better and healthier. Um, why did you start? Oh, that's a tough question, but I was trying to be cool, you know, like, um, like everybody else. Uh, back in the, um, uh, I would say mid-70s, um, smoking was cool. It was cheap, and uh, I grew up in a culture of, uh, of smokers. Um, my dad was a smoker. Um, he quit. Um, he's quit for uh, probably about 30 years now. Um, and he used to have um, cigarettes readily available, um, so I would just grab his cigarettes and I was trying to be cool with my friends. And um, you know, next thing I know, I was addicted to tobacco. Mm, how long ago did you quit? Um, I quit twenty three years ago. Uh, twenty three years ago, last November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was actually, um, uh, you know, Mr. Flaherty, our principal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was his mom's class that adopted me on Smoke Out Day in November. Um, 23 years ago, um, and uh, that class uh, helped me out, uh, mm -hmm. followed me around, talked to me. They didn't pressure me. They kind of worked with me. They, they, they provided me with um, uh, celery sticks and carrot sticks and cold water. Um, it was tough. Uh, by the way, I had tried to quit like at least 10 times before that, mm -hmm. and I couldn't do it because tobacco is addictive. It's, a, it's an evil, nasty thing because it, you know, it's expensive, and, and it's not healthy, and, uh, you know, and it just, you can't get off it. You know, it's hard. Um, really hard. It, it's and like it puts a mind-control device in your body. Nicotine is uh, is uh, is an addictive substance that your body needs after you keep taking it, you know, so after you keep using it. Um, you know, so it's it's nothing pleasant about it. You smell bad, your teeth rot, 
you know, your teeth turn and you, your bad breath. And then you know, your lungs turn black. And then and your lungs, and then all your. Brother, I told you about the diabetes thing and the, mm -hmm. and the circulation issues, and uh, you know, and my arm healed right after I quit smoking. And I don't have that, and I had a healthy baby because I didn't have that smoke in my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and um, here was another thing. Like one time we went to the store and I saw a um like cigarette packet, like yeah. like how much it costed. It costed seven dollars. That's crazy. I see you know, back when I was a kid, when I was your age, it was, like, uh, it, was a nickel. it was it was cheap. Yeah, my dad used to give me a, a buck, and he'd say, "Go get me a couple of packs of Winston's." He, he'd actually send me to the store to go get it for him. Today you can't do that, and I think that's great that you have to be eighteen you know, or you older. You have to be eighteen or older. I think, I think that's you great. Should be like, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. Nineteen. Right. When, when you're nineteen, you're a legal adult. Yes. Uh, you know the thing is we've made we've changed our culture um, by not allowing smoking in public places, uh, restaurants. There are some states that still have smoking in restaurants. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. if you go to some some restaurants in some other states, they'll ask like, you smoking or not smoking. Like yeah. back in like I don't know, like it was a while ago, um, you could like smoke when you were having a baby. Like it didn't like they didn't try to see. support them positively, as opposed to you know hounding them and quitting. That doesn't work. Because um, it, it's difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about all the questions we have. Okay. Thanks, but, um, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for, uh, for so, this time. I appreciate it. Yeah, and um, if anyone is smart enough to, well, and remembers enough to guess what day we film this, we, here's the clue. This was the lunch we had. There was homemade mac and cheese. Yeah, I mean. And there was tuna. Well, there was one tuna. Yeah. They had tuna. I just smelled it on his breath. Um, and, yeah. I had homemade meatloaf. Yeah, me. Hey. Yeah. Hump day. Secondhand smoke is bad, too. Yeah. If you don't know what that is, it's when someone else is smoking. And um, you walk by them, and then you inhale that smoke. Mm -hmm. Then it's really bad for your lungs. Yeah. So, yeah, that's bad, too. So, um, yeah.